Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the different kinds of tests on the concrete sample. So, starting with the one of the most important tests on the concrete is the compressive or the compressive compressive strength test. This is performed on the concrete sample. For example, they are mostly they take the cylinder here with a certain dimension depends upon the code so for example one of the standard is 150 millimeter is the diameter and the height of the cylinder should be equal to the 300 millimeter and they perform the load under compression from top and also from bottom to fail and compress and compression so there is some failure behavior like in this way but it depends also on the concrete mixture so compressive strength test is performed in the lathe mostly to perf to check the concrete compressive strength to check the com concrete compressive strength because concrete is a compressive member and it is only provided to increase the compressive strength of the member so it's important to know the compressive strength of the concrete that which type of concrete you are using in your structural member either is a beam or column this is the compressive strength test, which is the most important one. The second one is the splitting tensile test. Splitting tensile test on the concrete member. It is also mostly used in the in the lab to determine the tensile strength of the concrete. This is used to determine the tensile strength of the concrete. So basically, the same cylinder of the same geometry. Like you see here 300 millimeter and 150 millimeter is usually placed like in this way in the universal testing machine UTM universal testing machine both these tests are performed in this and then the load is applied here from the in this way on the cylinders in the transverse direction and then it mostly fail like in two parts and then you determine the tensile strength of the concrete by a formula so splitting tensile test is used to determine the tensile strength of the concrete although concrete is very weak in tension but sometimes we need the tensile strength of the concrete and for this reason we apply the splitting tensile strength of the uh, splitting tensile test usually the tensile strength of the concrete is 10 percent of that of the compressive strength the third one test is performed mostly is the slump test and this is mostly performed in the field or also in the laboratory in order to check or to know the workability of the concrete that how much concrete is workable how how good the concrete is to flow during the actual construction so the slump test is performed in a in a in a manner to determine the workability of the concrete mixture and it is mostly performed on the site in the field the fourth one the fourth important test on the concrete is the water absorption test. Water absorption test and this is performed on the concrete in order to determine the concrete absorption capacity of the water. So it is performed on the inner face of the concrete and also on the outer face of the concrete in order to determine the water absorption capacity of the concrete. The fifth one test on the concrete is the rapid chloride ion penetration test. This test is performed on the concrete in order to determine the chloride ion penetration capacity. Because if the con because if we build a structure or any member that is exposed to the chloride condition, I mean in the snowfall or in the icy conditions where there are salt coming into your bridge or any member then there your concrete should must be resistible to the chloride and penetration otherwise if it is weak and the chloride can go into the into the concrete then it will make the concrete weak or the structure member weak and then it can fail earlier than it how for how it was designed so it is for durability of the concrete this test is used to determine the durability of the concrete so it is kind of durability test on the concrete 
The sixth one is the water permeability test. Water permeability test and that is used to determine the capacity or the ability of the concrete that how strong it is to resist the permeation of the water inside into the concrete. So this is performed only to check the permeability of water into the concrete that how much it has been dense or loose the existing particles are the mixture of the concrete. So these are some of the important tests that is performed on the site. Some of tests are performed in the laboratory to determine the different properties such as the compressive strength of the concrete, the tensile strength of the concrete, the workability of the concrete, the water absorption capacity or the chloride ion penetration test to check the durability of the concrete and the water permeability capacity can be found out by this test. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos and don't forget to like and go to my new channel, the new channel link I have given in the description. Thank you guys.